Hello, this is just a quick uh, video tutorial on editing HTML within the blocks on Moodle. Um, so, in order to do any editing, we need to make sure that we have editing turned on. So I will go and I'll click that. And then I'm going to go down to the block where I want to add the HTML code. Um, I'll click on the cog here the, to edit the summary or edit the block. Um, it's going to give me uh, this space to work with and I can expand this space a little bit if I want. I typically um, toggle uh, full screen mode, um, just a little bit nicer to work with. Now when you come in here you're probably going to see this basic toolbar. Um, you've got a few simple options, but if you want to do anything else, uh, anything fancy, uh, you've got to click on this um, toggle here uh, to open the, the full toolbar. Some people call this the kitchen sink because you've got everything here except the kitchen sink. And, you know. um, so, but in order to edit the HTML, I'm going to click this um, icon here and it'll tell you uh, edit HTML source. Um, but before I do that, I'm going to go grab some HTML code. Um, often you will pull things from YouTube. Now there is in Moodle, there is now uh, uh, an easy way, an easier way to add YouTube videos. Um, but just for the, the sake of things here, I'm going to go into uh, YouTube and show you how to pull some uh, HTML code if you're not familiar. So we'll go into YouTube and find some substantial educational content like uh, fine. Tortoise versus truck. That should be wonderful. Mm -hmm. Yeah, great. Um, all right. But in order to get the HTML code, I'm going to click the share option, and I'm going to click the embed option because what you want is the HTML code to embed the video. So we'll pull that open. Um, gives you some options here to choose from. You can choose how. Uh, large or small uh, you want it to be. I recommend um, the, probably the smallest setting that is available for you here otherwise it will you'll have to sc scroll uh, within the Moodle page uh, to view the whole thing if you're on a, a smaller screen. Um, so we'll just leave that selected. Uh, you can choose anything else that you want here. Um, but uh, ultimately what we want to do is uh, click uh, in this box here. I'll do three clicks and then a quick copy copy that code, I'm going to go back, and now I'm going to click this icon, and it's going to uh, open a new uh, small window here um, where I can embed that code. Okay. Once I've embedded that code, just put that in, I'm going to click update, and you'll see the video kind of pop up here. Tortoise versus truck, there it is, wonderful educational content. Um, in order to save this, however, I'm going to need to go out of full screen mode, that's probably the only drawback, not a big deal though. Click out of full screen mode, scroll to the bottom of the page, click save changes. And then we should see our video pop up here under topic two at some point. Maybe not. Let's turn editing off and see, see what it looks like there. Ah, there it is, okay weird. Uh, but there it is, playable. Now right now this uh, particular topic is uh, hidden. Uh, it's grayed out there, so I'm going to go back into editing uh, just to make sure we cover all the bases. And we're going to unhide that by clicking the little eyeball here that's crossed out and show that topic. So now my students will be able to see this uh, and everything is dandy. If you have any questions, let me know.